There are just three times that I was able to find in NHL history that a goalie has been pulled during overtime. Oilers Canucks, April 7th of 2000. Blue Jackets Kings on March 25th of 2003, both of which resulted in empty net goals. The third was Bruins Kings, October 28th of 2017. That game was a little different because with almost no time on the clock, it made more sense. And yet, here's the thing. They actually won that game. Toffoli, off the faceoff, wired it home to take it in overtime with the goalie pulled. But here's a fun fact. When you pull a goalie in overtime and you lose the game to an empty netter like these two examples, not only do you lose the game, but you also lose the extra point you would have had. Rule 84.2, a team shall be allowed to pull its goalkeeper in favor of an additional skater in the overtime period. However, should that team lose the game during the time in which the goaltender has been removed, it would then forfeit the automatic point gained in the tie at the end of regulation. In other words, it's extremely risky. And in this example, it didn't come into play because there just wasn't enough time for an empty netter. So it made sense. But today, we saw it for real. See, coming into today's matchup as the Wild played host to the Predators, the Wild found themselves eight points back of the second wild card in the Western Conference. Nashville, on a 12-game point streak, sat in the first wild card slot. So, needless to say, a big game where one point wasn't going to be good enough if you're the Wild. And so, as to be expected, both teams wanted to set a tone early. A little chat right off of the bat, and then, not three minutes in, it was Felino and McCarron dropping the mitts, a couple of heavyweights going at it. They let him fly in what was a good scrap. Felino, second game back from injury, fired up the boys. And sure enough, just a minute later, Brodeen on net. There's a scramble with the puck loose. It pops out and Brodeen put it in. Wild goal to say the least, but the Wild would open the scoring. Just six minutes later, though, turnover Sherwood to Jankowski, and just like that, they squared it up. Beats Flurry, high glove to answer right back. And so, wouldn't you know it, we got another scrap. Sherwood and Shaw this time, as both teams battling hard to gain an edge. It was just a chippy game, still talking smack in the box. Then over in the second, it was the Preds again. Bouncing puck, finds Evangelista, who's in right place at the right time, finds the back of the net, and they take their first lead of the game. However, a late period penalty, O'Reilly colliding with Erickson Eck would get called for interference, and so, going to work, it's Zuccarello, shot, save, rebound, another save, the puck's loose, and he missed it, but does eventually get it in. It's Kaprizov off Shen with his 31st, another just crazy goal from the Wild, as they tie it up late in the middle frame. So, it was back and forth hockey, and that continued over in the third, where after a breakaway on one end, it's Flurry coming up with a big stop on Evangelista which meant Hartman going the other way to the backhand and he beats Soros with a huge go-ahead goal for the Wild with just seven minutes to go in the game. But in the final three minutes and we got a penalty. It's Erickson Eck called for hooking and it's a huge penalty to call here. And remember this because it's Yossi to O'Reilly and he ripped it. Scores with a beautiful shot, O'Reilly nodding it up and Soros who was on his way is like, all right, bet. <laughs> And we had ourselves a brand new game. But remember this call? Because almost immediately after scoring, this happened. And this time, no call. And I mean, that's a very similar looking play here. Smith wrapping around Erickson Eck, but yeah, no call. And so with that said, as time would expire, after 60 minutes of play, we got ourselves extra hockey. Fitting for what was an incredible game. The Preds with it and Forsberg beats Flurry, but rang it off the pipe as Flurry, as he does was sure to thank his best friend. But that's where we saw Flurry in the middle of play hovering towards the blue line more than once and I was wondering what the hell is happening? Surely he's not about to come out. Well sure enough he did. They pulled him four forwards and just seconds later Zuccarello across to Boldy and they score. Unfreaking believable. Boldy ripping it past Soros and we had ourselves an overtime goal with the goalie pulled. Just what is the NHL these days. I am loving it. But yeah, a huge two points for the Wild, who still probably have a snowball's chance in hell of making the playoffs, but boy, this is exactly what they needed. That's about it for this one, though. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.